Hello friends, welcome back to Marquee Soaps. My name is Candace, and today we are making a new product. We are making roll-on perfumes. So I have a tester here that I made a couple weeks ago. Um, this one is scented in the rose quartz. Now, uh, I feel like I wanted to put more fragrance oil in here, but this is what the finished product will look like. It's very simple. I have some fractionated coconut oil in this bucket here. I have my 10 milliliter glass bottles, and then we have some glass jars to measure everything in, and then our fragrance oils. So the first one I'm going to make, we will do apple mango tango. So I'm going to make four of each scent because it is a new product. I do want to have a nice variety just to kind of see what sells, what doesn't. So there's 36 milliliters and then we are going to do two milliliters of the apple mango tango from Nature's Garden. And for this, because we only need two, I will use my pipette. Take that same pipette and we'll fill up our glass jars. So because I've made them before, I know where the fill line is. So that's it. So it's right up to the line, I'm right up to the rim. I will just do that for the other three. And that is it. So let's get these other ones made. bombshell ones are done. Now, these pipettes are pretty small. They're three milliliter pipettes. The bigger one I have is a five. I would recommend getting at least a five. You can get something different. You can try to use a funnel and pour these in. You can do whatever works for you. I tend to have shaky hands sometimes, and so trying to pour into here, even with the funnel, I just foresee that as being a big mess but whatever works for you. We'll do, we'll do some lavender essential oil and then I will show you how I put my labels on and how we package these and what the final product looks like putting my gloves back on and I'll show you what I have going on here. So all of these products here, I sprayed down really well with rubbing alcohol last night to disinfect them. And now we are going to put our caps on our perfume bottles. So we take a perfume bottle and we push that in there. 
all the way until it snaps. And then we take a roller, push the roller in there, put a lid on it. And then I'm going to take that down for a second. A clean rag sprayed with rubbing alcohol. And rub it off. So I'm just gonna do that with all of them. And then we'll put our labels on. So all of our perfume bottles are ready for a label. So these are the labels that I have right now. Um, I am sure that as time goes on, I will change these. I was really hoping that the label would go this way on the bottle. And I guess I it could go that way, but then the consumer would have to cut off the label before they opened it. So for right now, until I run out of these labels, they will be in this direction. So thank you everyone for watching today's video. We are about, we, I think today is the halfway mark. We are halfway through our 30 videos in 30 days. So we will see you tomorrow. I am going to upload my second and final Easter soap video. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.